Yes, people. Welcome to a new podcast called True Talk. Today, we're going to be having a big conversation about the problems of being a father. Now, I think, let me just say this right now. Any man that is standing in the gap for another man, supporting another man's child, respect to you. Yeah? I've got your back. Any man that is just there, period, for their children, respect. I've got your back. I mean, I don't know what it is about this country and the world. It seems like the world and its mother has got all these seminars, these books, all this support. Yeah, for for women. Down to the government is saying, you know, basically in this country, in England, that if there's a woman and kids, they get more support than if there's a man on his own with kids. Can you believe that? Yeah. We've got some issues right now. And, and, and that developed issues in a sense where the woman kind of, Maybe un- unknowingly, but she goes on like now nah, she's the bees and knees, so no one can't tell her nothing. Can she come on a household all by herself? That's how she starts to think. Now, I don't really understand it. To be honest with you, I don't understand it. I mean, it takes two to tango. Yeah, you need a mother and a father to bring up children, whether it's a male child or a female child. You know, the, the male child is going to look at the dad as a man that he wants to be like. So the so the dad plays a major role there. And then the female child is going to look at the dad and work out what kind of man she's going to go go after. So the, so, so, so the male role in a heterosexual relationship, family, home, is quite important. But this is what I find, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. I need, I mean... If someone can just email me or something back to give me some answers to this, because I honestly don't get it. I, I mean, I sit down and I contemplate a lot on this one, and I just can't understand it. Like, why women? And, I, and I, I'm not sexist. I'm not sexist. I'm just talking it real. Because loads of men are going through this, and they don't know what to do. And they're starting to do things that kind of... make them seem a bit out of character yeah so we're going to talk about that in a minute but let me just i don't wanna, i don't get it right so like i said to you before women go on like a lot of women go on like they can they can want things they can rule the house all by themselves and what they do they 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 emasculate the man by first of all trying to rob his power and authority in the home where the children are concerned. So when the jobs is for a man, it's for him to come in and, you know, discipline the child if need be. He's the authority in the home. Yeah, you see, she's not old fashioned. This is how it is. And the woman did it nurture, the care and the love and all that. And so can a man be. But a man also is the authority of, of the home. You understand what I'm saying? So he will bring the discipline side to things. Yeah? And what women do, I don't get it. I'm not saying if the man is beating up your child left, right, and center, there's blood pouring, you can't step in. But even if they're getting told off verbally, the woman is jumping in. You can't talk to him like that or her like that. Leave her alone, leave him alone. But the child done wrong. And you're going on like the father's doing wrong by stepping in. Now, this amazes me now. This amazes me. They continue to do this and wonder why their relationship is broken down. <laughs> it, makes, it makes no sense. If you're emasculating the man and not allowing him to be a father or the man in the home, what are you expecting, my girl? Hmm? I mean, it's confusing. It really is. But what one thing like I want some ladies to pay attention to 
If this is you right now, not paying attention, I need you to pay attention right now. If your man comes home and he's talking to you about the bills you run up, the way you talk to him in front of the kids, the way you emasculate him, the way you talk down to him, try to knock his confidence, the way you're trying to be the power and authority in the house because that can't work. Two kings can't rule in the same castle. There needs to be a king and there needs to be a fem- a queen. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, if your man is coming and he's talking to you about these things, I think you should take note. Because the moment he stops talking to you about any of those things, you got a problem. He's either with, a, with another woman and coming in all relaxed and whatever, and when you start your rubbish, he can't hear you. Oh, he's on his way out. Women, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard right now. <clears throat> it's hard right now for a woman, especially if they've got children, to get another man. <clears throat> that's gonna st- <clears throat> that's gonna stay in the home with them. That's gonna put up with a lot of drama. And he's going to be a father to the kids. It's very hard to find a man like that. So if you've got a man like that, I'm suggesting you look after him. Because if you've got even one kid, let alone more than that, four or five kids, but if you've got one kid, another man is not going to be so quick to come in and look after that one kid or to be the fatherly, to be a father role to that one kid. Not many men are like that. Very few. But like I said at the beginning, I commend the men that do that. Honest to God, it's a very hard job. And I think the women that have them men like that should treasure them because they're good men. You know? So, it's hard to be a dad. It's hard to be a parent. It's, there's no rule book. But I definitely know women who emasculate their men, who talk down to them in front of their children, who belittle them, especially in front of the children, are running the risk of losing their man, their home. And it's no one else's fault but yours. Thank you for listening to True Talk. I hope for you to tune in again. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm.